Hello everybody, my name is ASO and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fire 4 as Japan. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we have a bunch of planes that wanted to be deployed. So I guess we kind of have to deploy some of them. 115 transport planes. We have a bunch of, um... I guess you just provide, uh, supplies. Not enough command panel power. Okay, never mind. Is there a uh, any airport closer that we've captured? Answer is no, there is not. So what I could do is I could just, I think, build a airport. Like right here. Throw that straight to the top of the list. It's going to take not, not that long. But then we'll tr take all our transfer planes there and then try to airdrop and completely take over Dagestan. Or just try to airdrop uh, here into Rostov. I don't know that that might be too far. Is there, is there a better transfer plane? Or is that it? Strategic bomber. No, I think there is only one type of uh, transport plane. Disappointing, but uh, that you know, is what it is. Well, do we know if there's any enemy aircraft or airports? I mean, they definitely have some. They have 6,000 planes. I just don't know where the airports are. Oh, so are you guys on aggressive? You're not careful. Which is surprising, because it seems like uh, you're doing the aggressive thing where you just create like weird lines in the gap. Or weird lines in the uh, the front lines. By the way, it's uh, brown. Oh, they've actually arrived. But they're this brown. Which is now the black army, because that's uh color I don't have yet. So your goal is to push our, your way down and cut off Soviet oil. But without oil, the Soviets cannot continue the fight here. But it also means that Teal can modify their front line, so you don't need to cover that anymore. So hopefully the Black Army's fine. Teal, I think, should be okay with what they're trying to do. I think these are all guys that don't want to move any further. No, oh, no, that's more black troops moving in. Fantastic. Yeah, I like how everybody just everybody just leaves Japan. Let's try to figure out where else they need to be. 25% of the East China Sea, so we really can't scan that much of the environment, but that's okay. Apparently we still need a, a ton of steel. Like, there, there's just no way I can actually get enough steel to maintain the war effort. Even owning all of this territory as my puppet states, we still don't have enough steel. I'm assuming it's because we're trying to build a ton of boats. Like, the boats are just consuming all the steel. Yeah, the battleships and stuff. They need 40 steel for this many uh, dockyards. I mean, we got a little bit of steel, but not that much. The ships are on very low strength. I mean, I'm not surprised. How many troops are actually in the... Uh, there's seven troops in that province. Okay, so... Wait, no, why are you attacking? I know it's because I set the AI to attack, but still. I mean, no, that's tricky attacking. I might have just been uh, reinforcing their attacks. Which is slightly different. So I'm guessing I, did, I just killed like... A decent chunk of the Japanese or the French army? I might be wrong, but... I don't know if there are 17 divisions would have left. Oh no, there is a port there. I think the French built a port. I think the French built a port to try to sustain their troops. And it kind of backfired on them, but... I think that was their plan. So white army, I actually need you to hold this whole position for right now. Brown army, I want you to be very careful in your operations. Like you're pushing your way forward and I, I appreciate that. Teal can attack. Black can probably attack. I mean, a lot of these guys have supplies again.
which is bad news for us. Okay, this province is completely unoccupied. Just go take it. That province is unoccupied. Just go take it. Fight the Russians here. Okay, keep on moving forward. Yeah, no, okay, so this time, I'm hoping that the Soviet Union actually capitulates. This is the time. Eventually. This, this purple army also... 22 divisions, and they're not really getting anything done, but... Uh, so we can probably actually transfer them down south. Because, yeah, at some point, we still need to invade Poland and all of Europe. So, this series is... It's a long, it's a long one, and I don't. Again, this is like the last recording session I could even do because after this, the save breaks. So you know, I'm getting as much as I possibly can get done. Also, purple actually about to run out of space. So purple, if that's the case, I want you all now to garrison down here. So you went from fighting in Siberia to fighting in the desert. Just don't worry about how terrible of a shift that would be. We don't need oil. We need steel. Coastal forts. I guess just build them all along the uh, the coast on India. I mean, there's no way to build them faster. As much as I would like to build them slightly faster than this. Yeah, so just keep on building along the coast. Apparently there's a lot of coastline. Apparently there is a ton of coast. I mean, that's probably fine. I mean, is the, are we building them? No, okay, the AI is building them, and we're, I think, assisting them. And it looks like they should all build, like, pretty quickly. Push you straight down to the bottom of the queue, because, again, you automatically repair, so I don't need to repair, be repairing you as well. Doesn't sound like that's actually, uh, going to help us out too, too much. Okay, so you guys are all doing quite well. I'm proud of all of you. Air production, 91 brigades for the Soviets. Like, we outnumber the Soviet army. It is now just a time question. So I believe purple now should all be transferring down to the south, which they are. Brown, I actually want you to kind of stop what you're doing. Take over what provinces you can, but after that, I think we're good for a little bit of a rest. You guys are still controlling over here just fine. You're still controlling that just fine. Basically, yeah, do not engage with the enemy navy because it's clearly going to backfire on us. Never repair. I don't understand why never repair would ever be selected. It's just a terrible choice. So some of these guys, are, you know, they're pretty strong. Like, have you sunk... History. Have any of these ships sunk anybody? You sunk four enemy ships. You sunk 11 enemy ships. That's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good, I would say. Unassigned divisions. Was that all the troops being built there? It was. So, where can I throw these 16 troops? Eight, four can go to you. You can go there. Yes. So now all of you. Well, 
Well, if at some point you'll figure out what you want to do, but for now it's fine. Well, I was going to research something and I immediately forgot what it was. Yeah, we probably should be upgrading like tanks and stuff. Let's get some medium tanks going on. Yeah, can the Soviets actually even... I mean, they have enough troops to cover the entirety of the border, but I think that's really about it. Also, did that airport ever get built? I don't think it did, because I think it was given to to, uh, to Russia. It stopped being built, which is annoying. How long so it actually is built? 30 September. So yeah, like 12 days. We'll put a plane there and try to airdrop troops all, you know, just all of back here. Every province. Okay, you keep going over here. That's Estonia. It actually is providing some troops. I don't think I've actually really even fought Estonia. Until, like, right now. Okay, you guys can be on aggressive. I'm just hoping it won't fuck up you guys. Which it kind of is. Because they're trying to attack now. No shit. No. Uh, you're all still here. Any of you guys are still here. I screwed this up. I put some of the militias in there, I think. Yeah, no, you're all still in a uh, militia army over there. But everybody who's on this order is actually just going to be put into a different, different group. And immediately hold position. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to do it over here as well. So all of you guys are now over here as well. The Leap Blue, you're now just guarding here. Again, uh, okay, didn't put any of the militias in that army, so fantastic. And because you're also just standing around guarding, I'm just going to throw you into the second tier as well. But I don't want to accidentally click you being like, oh, I need these guys for something, but I don't. So eight more days until that airfield is finished. Everything here still seems like it's going okay. The purple army probably still going to take a long ass time to get there. Even with strategic redeploy, it's still going to take 17 days. Actually, that's not, you know, that's not as long as I thought. It's actually kind of quite reasonable. Keep on moving in. Blue army, apparently. Uh, your front line is kind of old. So you're going to push up to this river. And attack again. I really think all of you can just be on extremely aggressive mode. Just, you know, take everything. How, who are they to stop you? Oh, Soviet Union. Part of it is going to the Russian Empire. I'm just hoping that the Iran doesn't give away this part because I need the airbase. I see. Can I request? I'm going to ask control of this state. Because I need a state. Don't give it to Russia. Just keep it for myself. Did that also did that, did that break the airbase? It did break the airbase. God damn it. I have to keep rebuilding this airbase a million goddamn times. I mean, it's my own fault. But now it's going to take it to the 10th of October. So it's only going to take like two weeks. But at this point, we might as well build even closer, but... I don't think that's really possible. Apparently there's still an invasion of Korea happening at some point. I don't know when, but apparently it's still an imminent threat. Okay, so we've upgraded our cruisers, Let's upgrade them to the, the uh, Mark IV. And okay, apparently, okay, we're going to build one soon on the 4th, then we'll switch over. Uh, upgrade. Yeah, we're still using 1936 battleships. 
No wonder they're getting absolutely destroyed by the AI. Okay, so the Greeks are trying to invade here. Somebody- oh, Blank's capitulated. I'm assuming that's uh, South Africa. Yeah, South Africa has capitulated. Or no, uh, Zimbabwe capitulated. This guy... has not quite yet. He will soon. But not quite. Not yet. Is this the one with the port? No, it's got the, uh... I don't know. It's got something there. Maybe that's the naval, uh, bunker. I'm not too sure what the sprite for those are. Okay, so, Black is actually apparently not getting so much done here. We're taking a lot of casualties. How many casualties have we still taken? We've still only taken, uh, 6 points... 2.65 so far. Again, this doesn't count against the British because they're no longer in the war. But we also, you know, we've about double our manpower on the field. Uh, compared to them, so, uh... Overall, we are catching up in overall numbers. But I don't know how many, how many troops of the Soviet Union have on the field. How much of this is coming from the Soviets? I have no clue. I don't feel like it's that much. Given what I know about how the Soviet plans are going at the moment. But why are there... Oh yeah, that's why. I was like, why are there guys coming all the way back here? But I forgot I signed the new divisions over there. So yellow is still doing quite well. This blue army can also maybe be shifted somewhere else. We still haven't taken uh, Stalingrad. Or, you know, what would have been Stalingrad. Keep on moving up. Oh no, we have we have a we have a we have a airport now. So transports, which can now go here. Assuming we're not going to lose this, which I don't think we will. That means my paratroops can now go here as soon as the planes get here. But uh. Delete their current plan of just standing still. I don't actually know where they are. Okay, this army. Now just walk over here. It's gonna take you a while. But it, uh, trust me, it's gonna be worth it. You'll be able to actually do your one job of uh, paratrooping in some troops. And won't that be exciting for you? Yeah, okay, so you are all still doing quite well. There's another airport. Yeah, so even Teal itself is going to be a little bit obsolete soon. Like, Soviet Union, you've lost so many soldiers. I'm really surprised. You have 1.16 manpower. I'm really just surprised. They can hold on for so long. You know, you gotta give them that. They can last a long ass time. Yeah, so they have this nice port defended. So that's good for us. Purple has actually decided to arrive now, so that means we can uh, shrink these front lines a little bit. There we go. There's more and more troops here. So yeah, we gotta basically gotta go here and then invade through Greece, here, invade through Italy, up. How are we gonna do that? I still don't really know because we don't have naval superiority anywhere around here. But I guess we'll try to figure it out. Has Turkey done anything that does, uh... Or we go through the north. Because these are all straights. Which might be the only way we can actually possibly do it. But I think for now, that's going to end this video. So thanks for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not, do it, always thumbs down. Or subscribe, and goodbye.